My name is Wes Ripley. I'm the facility manager to Jamestown Scotland Ferry. My name is Melvin Younglove, and I'm a shift coordinator. My name is uh, Lee Baker. I'm the uh, maintenance manager slash port engineer. The ferry service started here in 1925. It was started by a private individual. Of course, she had wooden docks at one time. Now it has hydraulic ramps and concrete docks. Ferry travel here, we have a lot of commuters. A lot of people don't think of a ferry having a rush hour, but we have a rush hour. The uh, boat shoes make about 43 trips on a 24 hour period. People that live in Surrey tend to work in James City County where there's more hotels and industry and then they come back in the afternoon. We're really excited about getting a new vessel. Uh, the boat we're on now, the Virginia, only carries 25 cars, and so we don't use it very much. The Powhatan is a, a necessary vessel for this fleet uh, due to the uh, increase in traffic demand. The new ferry is going to have a Voith Schneider propulsion system, and we actually have that on our Pocahontas. It's a very good system for what we do because it, it gives us extreme maneuverability. You can walk her sideways or she'll basically stop in her own length. So, I mean, that's really a good feature, especially in bad weather and all that. It's got five blades that stick down in the water, turn around at about 76 RPMs, and you can control the thrust of those blades to where you can actually get uh, thrust and, and wake wash uh, from any direction you want almost instantaneously. It gives us extreme maneuverability, and, and the maneuverability with all the docking we do is critical. We spent a couple of days with the designers going over every little thing. We asked the boat crews for suggestions for improvements, and sometimes the really simple things are the things that make all the difference. It should be safer for the crew, because especially in the wintertime, the ice won't build up on the bow as bad. But once we get it here, we still have to train our people on it because the controls are going to be different. We're going to have joystick controls versus the wheels that we have now, and, and some things are just going to be operationally different. We'll have a head start on that by having three captains that already have some idea how to do this, and then I don't think the learning curve will be too steep.